Hi guys, it's Jules. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I am finally sort of back. Um, I'm really busy, so I don't even know how much I'm going to be able to film. Uh, I have started esthetician school, so that is makeup and skincare, so I will be able to, like, legally be able to do people's makeup and facials and stuff. So that's kind of where I've been lately. Uh, school's been really crazy and sort of stressful. But anyway, uh, today I am here to do an empties video. So basically what that is, is just like, I saved all of my trash of like my beauty products that I have. And I'm gonna talk about like the pros and cons or if I'm gonna get it again, that sort of thing. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you subscribe. And if you could also give this video a thumbs up if you like it as well. If you are interested in this video, just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so first off, I wanna go ahead and say that I just pulled out all my stuff and it is mostly hair care products. I literally only have one makeup product in here um, because I just have so much makeup. It kind of takes a long time for me to like dwindle down to nothing on in them. So um, I guess I'll just go ahead and start with that one makeup item that I have and then I'll move into skincare and then hair because hair is like the biggest one that I have. Okay, so the makeup item that I have is is the Wet Wild Face Primer in matte. Um, this I really like. I mean, it's five bucks. It's not really expensive or anything. So I don't know. I just liked it. I don't know that it kept me matte or anything. Um, I have repurchased it as well as the luminizing one, which I actually like the luminizing one more since I've been on the drier side lately. So I would still be using this one. But yeah, repurchased. I like it. It's good. Okay, skincare stuff. Um, I'll just throw some deodorant in here. This is the <laughs> Secret Lux Lavender. I don't know. Um, I like this formula for deodorant. I don't really sweat a whole lot, so I don't have any problems with like perspiration per se. So um, I like this deodorant. Um, I guess it took a while for me to go through this, but I do use deodorant every day. So, But I did repurchase this just in a different scent. This item, I'm actually really sad that I ran out of it because it's been kind of hard for me to find. I haven't been able to repurchase it because I really want to repurchase it because I liked it so much. Uh, but it is this Retinol Beauty Oil. Uh, what's the brand? Oh my gosh, I totally screwed this up. Oh yeah, Rose and Apothecary. I ended up getting another thing really similar to this um, that I talked about in my haul video, um, but that's a serum. So where I like this one because it's an oil and I don't know, just... I like the oil a little bit better um, but this I really liked I don't know that I really saw a lot of differences in like anti-aging because I mean I am only 25 um, but if you see this at TJ Maxx I definitely would recommend picking it up because it was like seven or eight bucks um, and I really liked it and it didn't make me break out or anything like that uh, next I have some Mario Badescu uh, products I have the Mario Badescu facial spray with rose water this is like the bigger one or I don't know do they have one bigger than this they have, I don't know uh, but this is the eight ounce one I love this one but honestly I prefer the lavender one but I figure since I have this one I would go ahead and use all of it uh, I don't really see a difference in what they do for me I use them as setting sprays and like to spray my uh, eyeshadows to get more pigment and whatnot so I use this because it's a pretty good I mean I think it's pretty cost-effective for the size that you get and for the amount that it costs um, Yes, I do like this, just not, the scent is not my favorite. Next two Mario Badesco things I have are actually toners. They are for combination and oily, this one, and this one's for combination dry and sensitive. This one, that's what that skin type means. Um, I mean, to be honest, like I never really noticed a big difference with toners personally um, now that I'm in um, esthetician school I'm learning a lot more about skincare and stuff like that and so toner is definitely important in your skincare routine because it balances the pH of your skin after cleansing so that way it's not totally dried out or anything it kind of like puts moisture back in your face before you put lotion on um, but yeah I mean these were good but I mean they were like 15 bucks each you can probably get something similar at the drugstore I don't know I currently use a Neutrogena toner right now. Okay, this next item, 
I think it's like a little controversial, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about it. I bought Tati's Halo Beauty uh, vitamins. These were the, or they weren't vitamins, they were supplements. It was like a hair, skin, and nails thing. I was actually documenting every single day uh, after like the first couple weeks of taking this and I was trying really hard to see differences and I feel like I did see um, a lot of little differences that I think would have happened progressively over time that just would have gotten better if I would have just kept taking it. However, the issue I had with this is that I didn't see enough change to be able for me personally to justify spending $40 on a bottle every month. Like, well, it kind of also has to deal with the fact that I don't have a ton of money right now, but um, personally, like just right at this present time, I didn't want to buy any more, but if I had more expendable money, I would totally do this, uh, especially since I, I was seeing some results and I do really like supporting Tati because I love her so much. She's so sweet. Um, but yeah, recommend it if you have the money for it. Okay. So now we are on to the biggest section of this video, which is hair care. As I'm sure you guys can tell, I have pink hair, which does require a lot of maintenance. Um, but I have found some things that are in this that make it easier to have pink hair. So the first thing I want to mention that I can literally never, never have too much of is dry shampoo. And personally, this is my favorite brand Batiste and I get these giant bottles. These are, um, 13.46 fluid ounces. I get these at TJ Maxx and I think they're like, what, nine bucks. So they're not like expensive. I mean, they're less expensive than if you were to buy them at Ulta, which I know at Ulta you also get your points, but I love these. Um, I like to try all the different scents. Uh, the one that I have, the one that I have right now is the strength and shine Batiste. So we're trying this one out to see, because sometimes I do feel like my hair gets a little dry with dry shampoo, obviously, because is dry shampoo but um I would like it which I feel like it does like my hair doesn't look totally dirty or anything right now it just is like second day third day straight we don't need to talk about that exactly but but yeah that's the uh, dry shampoo I'm currently using and I love it I got this from TJ Maxx as well uh, this was just like a really deep restorative conditioner and I liked it to me it was just like a deep conditioner and it worked well for me I mean I ended up using the whole thing so that was nice something similar that I got was from Trader Joe's was this uh, shea butter and coconut oil hair mask I really liked this I think I liked this more than the other one and this one's obviously a little more accessible because it wasn't like a DJ Maxx um, but this you just leave in your hair for like 10 minutes or something oh is this three to five minutes I think I did it longer but um, it just worked really nice, uh, for my hair cause I am awful and I never get my hair cut, which I should totally get my hair cut. I need to do it really bad just to get all the dead ends off. But, um, it really just helps my ends and stuff feel softer. I always just do, if I'm going to do like a deep conditioning treatment, I'm going to do it on like this half of my hair and not up here because it gets really oily up there. But since I use a lot of um, products in my hair, sometimes uh, the buildup in my hair can get to be a lot. So um, I Googled once, uh, I was trying to find something that was like clarifying because clarifying I guess is just like cleaning everything off, all the residue and everything. And this is what came up as a suggestion was the Acure Clarifying Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, I have bought these several places. I have bought these at uh, Target. I bought these at TJ Maxx once. So if I see these at TJ Maxx, I know they're less expensive, so I'll definitely buy them. Um, and then I've gotten them at like health food stores because this is like in the stuff with like the organic stuff. I don't exactly know why, but um, the smell of this stuff is, is so good. Uh, it's lemongrass and argon uh, extract, but 
this is, um, it's really nice. I have gone through oh, probably three bottles of each. Uh, I really recommend these. They are so good. I think I just have the shampoo in my shower right now and I definitely need to go pick up the conditioner. Yes. If you need something to like definitely clean all the buildup off of your hair and still leave it soft and it smells really good, definitely these. Next, I have a bottle of Overtone in rose gold. I did, when I placed my order for Overtone, I ended up buying two bottles of these, um, the deep conditioning with like the concentrated color in it and then it came with like a little travel size. So this was just one of the two bottles that I purchased already. So I do already have another one of these. Um, I really like this a lot. Uh, I think it works really well for just maintaining color and you don't necessarily have to use cold water to keep your hair cold. Uh, so this is really nice for just maintaining color and this brand has so many colors. However, this rose gold color is almost every time I go to like look at it, it's sold out. So you just kind of got to keep an eye on it if you want this particular color, but like they have, I want to say like for each color they have different categories of it like if you were to do purple they have pastel purple light purple vibrant purple and I feel like there might be four but there might only be three but overtone definitely love them now I have this and I bought this back in November so I feel like it's lasted me quite a long time since I I don't use that clarifying shampoo every single time I shower because it's get your hair really squeaky clean. So I don't need it every time, usually only with buildup. So every other time for shampoo, I was using this uh, Redken Color Extend. Oh, this is the conditioner, but I was also using the shampoo. I'm throwing them both away because they're empty. But um, so I was using these and um, I wanna say I got these because I thought they were gonna help my color these did not do anything for my color and i was really disappointed because i mean redkin's a really good brand and it's this color extend and i don't know if it's because i have a fashion color and it's not like a natural color i don't know i don't know the reason but um this just didn't really do anything for me so personally i won't be buying this particular one again however i did buy the redkin uh, shampoo and conditioner that's in like the magenta fuchsia bottle that's it's similar it's the color extend like magnetics or something they're having their leader sale going on right now at Ulta so I think I ended up getting both bottles for $40 so like $20 each um, and these last me a really long time I mean like what I just ran out of this and this is July I got them in November so they lasted me like eight months so yeah um, recommend the size, not this particular one if you are trying to get it to prolong your color. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about, which I guess I just kind of forgot this, was uh, these makeup wipes that I got at Target. Um, I got these for my trip that I took to Sacramento for my sister's graduation. Uh, these were really good. These smelled really good. Um, I don't know that I liked them so much that I would repurchase them again. Um, I feel like honestly I don't even really use makeup wipes right now uh, I just use like a cleanser to take off my makeup but I mean they were pretty good I wouldn't say anything bad about them um, but yeah they definitely did smell like coconut but that's it for my empties video if you did like it go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you are not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video bye she just wanted to come say hello y'all know I love my little baby you